uh, professional squash player. Actually, I thought about this when I was uh, probably about 10 or 11. When I started winning my first tournaments and I started feeling that I'm, 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 I'm feeling comfortable, I'm feeling, uh, you know, I'm feeling excited and thrilled inside these four walls. So all of a sudden I got the, the, the ACL injury and that was a bit of a, of, of a fallback for me and I had to, a lot of, lot, of, lot of people, a lot of doctors said I couldn't play squash and I can't, can't keep on going because I'm, I'm, I'm at such a young age and, and it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, I mean the ACL at such a young age is something invincible, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, it's hard to beat. So, uh, so um, I, was, I took this as a positive thing and I started, and I started I still did the operation and I came back and I won my first uh, World Open title. There was a lot of people actually I was looking up for. You know, it was, I mean, Shaban was one of them, you know. It was like playing over there in the Haram tournament. It was such a spectacular, uh, you know, venue and, and an event. Everyone just, everyone was amazed by how it was going. And there was a guy called Barad as well who was playing. Everyone was looking for him. I wasn't, I wasn't the only kid around. There were a lot of kids uh, as well. They were looking for these guys if they were like pyramids. When, wherever they go, if they were tra training, if they were playing tournaments, wherever they go, I was like trying, trying to get there, be there as much as I can and watch them. So I can, I, and I was trying to com com not compare, but trying to, 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 um, to imagine myself, myself doing these shots and, 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 and playing the same shots as they do. And, uh, and, and as the time goes, uh, 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 I tried, I tried to, to pick up these shots and I, as, as time goes I started to play better and I started to, 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 to kind of improvise my own way of playing and, um, and, um, and you know, and, and trying to find my character in court and the way, and the way which suits me and the way which, which, which goes with me. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been going uh, good so far. Till now, I want to tell you something like you won't even believe. Till now, I don't know how to calculate the ranking things and the points things. I'm still learning how to do it. So I never thought about you know just about these things. I just just play and just go and just do do do, do spontaneously what what comes up in my mind and uh, and I just keep it this way. Um, I think this era of the game is one of the most pro prosperous eras of the sports games ever. Or game ever, I think. Uh, everyone is physically really you know stepping it up and mentally even uh, skill wise everyone everyone I, I think most of the top 10 players and most of the 20 and 30 top top players in the world they can mix it up between basic squash and attacking squash and they can even counter really well too I've always considered tournaments and being abroad uh, as a mission and it has to be done and uh, in the right way and in the, in, in the most uh, disciplined way as well um, because I'll, I mean, I'll get, I'll get my day offs and I get my vacation anyway. So I just kind of try to push myself when I'm out, when I'm away. For me, I believe that I have, I've always been wanting to just get, uh, get in the right form uh, 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 physically. I think mentally, uh, I don't need to get married or I don't need to settle down so I can get my head right. Because most of the guys who have been getting married soon, they have been doing really well. Uh, so I, that's what I believe, um, and uh, so I've, I've always been w wanting and waiting for, for the moment that I would get my myself physically right and uh, and just and stay healthy. Uh, and it takes it takes a bit of a time and it takes a lot of experience as well. You know, I've been uh, if it wasn't for all those injuries I had, I could have never learned anything and I could have never uh, been what I've, what I, where I am now. Um, so yeah, I'm actually thankful for the for the hard times and for the. For the for the injuries I've I've, I've had uh, and uh, and hopefully not much more injuries to come. I've had a lot of you know um, the hard times when when I was injured and I was thinking and I was told a lot that I couldn't play as good as or I, would, I wouldn't be playing as consistent as I as, as I'm as I'm playing and I've been told before a couple of times that I'm not going to play again when I had my my operation my knees and everything and every time I, I had I had those start hard times I kind of think what would happen if I stayed back home and I didn't do anything and I stopped playing squash for real. And my head just always gets me back to, to saying that I think I'll still wake up in the morning and still go out for a run and I'll still go on court and, and even have a solo if I couldn't compete. I love I love the feel, the feeling of suffering in court and fighting in court and I just feel that that's the that's that's how you get your um, your uh, your uh, your uh, you know you you earn you earn any point by getting your dignity you know it's it's it's, it's something about dignity it's not about money it's not about of course you want to get money and you want to win and you want you want to live well and everything but but uh, for me it's it's more about you know dignity it's more about fighting it's more about doing something valuable and yeah just participating in it's something it's something it's it's just rewarding just to be there.